Hello, in this video I will show you how to change the I.O. addresses on the hardware devices using a Siemens S7-1200 CPU and using also the Kia Portal V17. Hello and welcome back. This is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Press Control Systems and off we go. Okay, as soon as you set a board, um, there is an address automatically assigned to the boards and this address you can find below the device configuration using the property tab. That's that one right here that I just closed. Okay, there is an information tab and a diagnostics tab. We will also come later to this and then we just go to the property tab and it is also always according to whatever board you got selected here. And then you can see the general information where you see just the project information and a catalog information. And this only shows your um, module type and a small description to it. And below the general tab, there is the interesting part. Here you can see this DI16, the digital inputs, channel 0 through 15, which will also be addressed later on. And then on the IO presses button on this one, on this button here, you can see the start address using, in this case, the start byte 8 and 9. And if you want to change this, you can just put any number in there. For instance, just put in the number 2. And if it's not used, you will have the input byte 2 and 3 used in your first extension module. Okay, and for my project, um, I have already a given project that the customer gave to me and he wants me to copy this project. So I will have to be using the same inputs and outputs. And in order to do this, I put the uh, input byte zero on my first extension board. And I will show you how to do this. The first extension board is this one right here. And we just put a zero in there. And then we have the problem that it's already being used. And let's see where it's being used. Um, the IO addresses on the CPU it's already being used here so I will have to change these to any given number let's say just 14 for the start address on the input and 14 or start address at the output and now I will be able to go back to my first module and put the start address 0 in here which you can see right now it's not red anymore and the next one will be, on the second one, will be the input byte 4 and 5. So let's see if I will be able to change this. It's the 4 and the 5. That The 5 will be automatically assigned. If uh, That will be just the, the next open. Um, well, no, it will not be the next open one. So uh, it's got two bytes and it will automatically take the, the next the highest number. So if I use the 5 on the start address, it will automatically assign the 6 or the 4, and it will automatically assign the 5. All right, so the next board is the output board, and that will be the output byte 8. So let's see how we change this here. Let's just put an 8 in here. 
and the next one will be the fifth one that will be this one here that will be the output 5 12 and 13 and the um, and that the analog output can also be assigned and that's the 160 and I leave that just automatically assigned to the 160 that's a three digit number that way we got a, a good separation from our digital inputs and I should not forget the addressing on the CPU which will be the uh, input and output byte 2 okay so let's put two in here and then put two also in the outputs all right that's it so that's it for the addressing for the extension board or for the hardware addressing on a cpu s7 1200 using the portal v17 thank you for watching and bye bye